We wanted to do um, a series of exhibitions on iconic Londoners and the idea came up to do one on Sherlock Holmes because although he's a fictional character, some people do actually think he's real. Well, we wanted to do this exhibition as well because we are the Museum of London. I mean, he had his study, he had his sort of powerhouse in the middle of London in Baker Street, and from there he would rattle off in a hansom cab, again, a very London symbol and motif, um, to solve these mysteries. In the exhibition, we dissected his character, and one main aspect of Sherlock Holmes' character is a modern English gentleman. A main part of that was his clothing, his deerstalker hat, his great coat, his tweed, aspects that are really connected to the UK history. One of the most recognizable icons of London's history, certainly around the world, is the Sherlock Holmes deerstalker and the pipe. Together, you don't need words, you can be in any country, and most people would recognize that. And I think there are a few other things that have come out of the UK, come out of specifically London, connected to fashion that are as recognizable. I was given the complete stories of Sherlock Holmes when I was 17 years old and they had an immediate grip on my imagination. First of all, I loved the murders and the mysteries and not being able to solve the stories, but also growing up in a rather boring suburb in the sort of north of London, I thought it was fantastic how in the stories, India and America, these secret societies and religions, their tendrils creep out even to the dullest suburbs of Norwood and Croydon. And I thought, wow, maybe they can reach me here in Stanmore, North London. I would have said that without Sherlock Holmes, there would have been no Foyle's War. Um, you know, it was the love of those books when I was 17 years old that stayed with me, as I think they do with many young boys who read Sherlock Holmes. It never quite leaves you, and it, drew, it drove me into writing my own murder mysteries and creating my own detectives and trying to do it as well as Doyle did. Sherlock Holmes certainly leaves London throughout all of his stories, but he is first and foremost a London story with London at its heart. So while Sherlock Holmes leaves London regularly, I don't think the two could ever be separated.